fucking friend. And the person who listens to you. But if you're someone who's perhaps a little bit more laid back, maybe a little bit, you know, who doesn't necessarily like assertive men or aggressive men, you're gonna appreciate the friend approach. And I can actually appreciate that. You did say that you were put in the friend zone. And when you're orbiting for five years, that's not you being put in the friend zone. You placed yourself in the friend zone. My personal opinion is that women- She ain't lying. Front guys in the friend zone along as a bailout option or the emergency dick plan. Because I believe in like a man, if a man wants- I'm gonna tell you why he makes no sense, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this goes both ways for like men and women, bro. You're not, if if somebody friend zones you and you know you like that person, why are you still there? It's on you. It's not on the other person. If they want to be your friend, if you don't want to be friends with that person, nobody's forcing you. It's like, stop, stop with all that. Oh, the women, no, the women don't, bro. The women aren't holding you there and be like, yeah, you have to be friends with me. They're not doing that. So stop with that. Oh, the women hold us there or even the girls don't even do that bro no one forces anybody to do nothing they don't want to do so if you really don't want to be friends with her from the jump and she said nah i'd rather just be friends like hey i can't really be friends with somebody like you you know what i'm saying i really want you like that and dip bro. you know what i'm saying like come on bro like stop with the lame ass excuses you he will show you that he wants you i wholeheartedly believe no no like uh, affirmatively, assertively, uh, oftentimes aggressively, but like you will have no doubt that that man wants you. So uh, uh, on that end, I totally agree with you, but I also can appreciate the time that a man puts in to get to know you, to get to know your mama and them, to understand everything about you and understand you on the friend side so that when he is, you know, in a place to, to step to you, he's no longer insecure. He's no longer scared. He's 100% sure of what he wants to do. So then when he steps to you, it, it, you're, you, you're already his. It ain't no, well, maybe, you know, he already knows in his mind when he steps to you that, that, that you're gonna be like, damn, yes. You know, I, I ain't like you at first, but damn. You've been, you been a real one, and mm, it kind of makes you cute. You know what I'm saying? So hold on, but I think, I, I think that it just depends on how you're, on, on what you like as a person. Do you want mm. a man who who friend zones himself? Because they they you you essentially friend zone yourself, right? I was already put in there, right? So, yeah, I was but some, there, the thing is that some some <laughs> women like assertive men. So if you want someone who is assertive, you gonna go at you. You're not gonna necessarily feel Oliver's um, approach. You know what I mean? But if you but if you're someone who's perhaps a little bit more laid back, maybe a little bit, you know, who doesn't necessarily like assertive men or aggressive men, you're gonna appreciate the friend approach. And I can actually appreciate that. Like I haven't really dated that many men who were not my friends, to be very honest. Like I, I don't really like strange men. Like you gotta have some kind of connection to me. Like you're like one of my best friends' friends, or you know, you've been around. Like I somehow have to know you, but I actually never like strange men. For the most part, I probably always talk to somebody who was semi in my circle or a friend, friend or I had yeah. some relationship with beforehand. But do you feel like as a friend, that's also his job to be a friend? All, all these things he described, you're being a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your job to be a friend too. If we're friends, your job is to listen to me, to hold me down. Was that for me or for all of you? No, for, for, I'm saying, oh. I'm asking you, but I'm saying, do you feel like, as a friend, that's his job? Can he make it seem like what he doing, like? Your whole voice, oh, it's just, no. Mm -mm. Her voice is killing me. It's almost like he gotta get paid for it. No, Your job is to be a friend. He's not, he's not, I don't think he wants to. I think in a way you are, Oliver. I think it'd be like, oh, I did this, I did that. Your job, if I'm I'm in the friend, okay, we're both women, my job is to make sure she's good, I listen to her. So if I'm gonna be a friend to a I man. I see where you're going with this. It's, okay. it's almost like, if you're my, if you're you're my man friend. You're trying to say if you're a friend? Yeah, why can't, why, just why, a friend. why yeah, like, be a friend? Okay, fine. Don't be, a, I, I'm, I'm annoyed. It's like your undercover friend, yeah, is what I'm you're saying. I'm annoyed because okay, I feel like I you're, you're expecting saying. something out of this friendship. Okay. You're not at this point, I don't even think you're doing it for real. I don't even okay. feel like you're being general with this shit. I see. Okay, if that's If you're just valid. doing it just like that, let's just say you're really being a friend to me. Mm -hmm. And 
shit really did happen mm -hmm. and you wasn't really doing it for no can you calm down with those rabbit calls you you know jab him in the goddamn neck like calm down shorty like <laughs> she about to you know somebody just poke you in the damn neck with them damn claws goddamn then that's fire but if you're doing it with a purpose like you know i'm gonna do this for her i'm gonna do that i'm gonna listen to this that and third at this point you're not being a friend you're not even being genuine so fuck all that okay i agree with you oh, yeah. real quick. like okay. two seconds i agree with you if i am doing that but for what i was speaking on no i'm not doing that to be a, a snake in the grass no yeah, that's what I'm saying. so i'm not for that reason i agree with you 100 mm -hmm. but i wasn't doing that for a reason but i'm gonna let rico go okay, no, that's all i want to say go ahead, rico. All right, so i'm to gonna go. say this right because i'm more like the five month guy versus the five year guy right that's what I meant and to being me. that i'm the five month guy not the five year guy more often than not i'm the one that's gonna do you filthy mm-hmm I'm the one that's going to leave you back to cry to that five-year guy. And then the craziest thing is... Why are you clapping? Chat. Why is he clapping? He's like, yeah, you know, I'm the five-year. We know that. But why are you clapping? You're the one that keep getting friends on. What are you clapping for? You feel like you, you feel like he right or like like what are you clapping for? Oh my god! To me is that y'all then look at the five year guy as as if he isn't a value for a chance. Like here's what I'm trying to here's what I'm gonna say right. Most successful or most happy marriages, I usually hear a similar term in every one of them, and that's that's my love, that's my best friend. You understand? So, like, that guy who's been your friend for five, six, seven years while you giving scumbags a shot at you and you haven't given a guy who's taking the time to know you to me is crazy. Because at the end of the day, he's going to treat you more delicately more t nine times out of ten than a five-month guy. You're talking about the type of friend that that uh, Danny was talking about, the one with an ulterior motive, yeah. the one that wants to just be your friend so then that way he can fuck you. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a person who is genuinely your friend, not because, yeah, you know he's a dirtbag and all of that, but you know how he would treat you. That's not what we're saying. Those are most likely the friend that has an ulterior motive, but a person who's just a good-hearted individual, a person who treats you right, a person who's there whenever you need them, physically, financially, emotionally, he's supporting you. A person that you bring to your parents, he's like, nah, we're not having sex, we're, that's just my friend, but your parents love him. That's that person. Thanks. So like, when I'm saying is, most women, and you know, I've heard this all my life, because I had a friend that was that guy, and he used to piss me off with this shit. I like this girl so much, she complains there's no, guy, no nice guys in the world, and I ran in front of her face. And I used to be like, well, damn, it's really crazy how women be blinded by aggressiveness, assertiveness, and a, and a crazy pursuit, but they don't value the work ethic of a person who's actually applying the necessary qualities of a husband. You understand? To, I mean, to be a husband, you have to be a friend. Yeah, you're right. So Oliver's applying a lot of physical traits or, or physical and emotional traits and, and qualities, and it's just being ignored for a it's guy. It's not being ignored. It's not That's being what a woman do though. Women go for the one guy every day. How many times you is want that women? all women? Yes, most you... women before they get to the good guy, they're gonna fuck a few whack ass dudes that don't deserve the pussy. A lot of women fuck a lot of dudes well, that, that don't even deserve the, the dude that gonna help you fix your credit, the dude that gonna make sure you you good, That's the crazy. dude that gonna hit you in the hospital if you get hit. That's not the dude we wanna fuck. We wanna fuck the dude that's not gonna call us back, that gonna hit us every three other days. I, I've been that girl. So I just wanted to close out my argument we with know. agreeing what Aaron said about it depends on who the person is, who you are as a person, what you would like in a man as far as courting because you can appreciate someone like Oliver that takes uh, the time to get to know you, your family, uh, your interests, be your friend or whatever or you can more appreciate the guy that comes in and gets you in five months and you know with the assertive I, you know, I want to date you. I, I want to, you know, be in a relationship with you. What I did want to say to Oliver, you did say that you were put in the friend zone. And when you're orbiting for five years, that's not you being put in the friend zone. You placed yourself in the friend zone because mm. you did not 
go to that woman and say, like, I like you and I would potentially like to be in a relationship with you. She has Facts. no idea. Unless she did and felt like we're too much of a friend, that's when you're put in the friend zone. Mm. So there, there's a difference there. And I did also want nah, she's to speaking say facts, to Rico, though. I know you went on about, you know, how the five-year guy is, you know, usually the best option. But did we ever really stop to think about if five years is too long, if that guy got too deep into being your friend where there's just like no return? You're like definitely not thinking about him in that way because it's just been too long. Time has just... Time has passed. You, you've already figured out what you want in a guy, and you realize this is just your friend, and he cannot be the guy that you need. I, I'm gonna just say like this, right? Amanda said that, for example, is it possible you could have gone too far in the friend zone, and now you can't get out? To me, that means that the woman is blind, because if a guy has been showing and showing and proving for five years, and you can't see that. Then you don't really deserve a person. Showing and blaming. I'm not attracted to you. No, like, yeah, sometimes you know, we gotta like, do it. Do you understand too, that? Go. Like, I don't understand why you're taking away friend versus relationship. When in a relationship, you have to be a friend. The main, the main ingredients outside of sex in a relationship is a fucking friend. It's a person who listens to you. Why are you a, mad, though? Bro, <laughs> you make a sense. It's a person who listens to you, a person who cares about you, a person who's with you all around the board. He's your friend, but you're calling this person a friend. And the only thing that's separating a friend versus a relationship for y'all and y'all argument is sex. So what was, no. the, what was wrong Why with everything Why y'all not chemistry? Else? Why y'all don't got no oh, chemistry? So, uh, yeah, what was wrong with everything else? All right, so said? the last thing that you said is that you're not searching for him, and that's just not somebody that you're there for, right? Or, or some that's just somebody that you're not interested in at all, right? That's cool. And my problem with that is it's like and, and I feel like I'm repeating the same thing as the last mm -hmm. time. Why would you befriend somebody mm -hmm. that you know is attracted to you, even though you're not attracted to him? Or you that's, find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but, you but here's out. the thing, yeah, you're stringing that person along. And you're stringing that person along, and I personally feel, going back to kind of what we spoke about before, my personal opinion is that women string guys in a friend zone along as a bailout option or the emergency dick plan. So it's like, okay, cool. I ran out of all my options. I had five or ten fuck boys come in and couldn't get the job done. But I got Oliver here now that I'm 37, 38. It's the afterthought. I got 30, I'm 37, 38, 40 years old, and I got Oliver I can fall back on, and I know he's going to be there for me because he's been here the whole time. Okay, so I think the difference between what Rico is explaining and we're explaining is that guys who are you know, feeling that they're stuck in the friend zone, don't express their feelings towards the, the girl that they want to possibly pursue. We are trying to say that, you know, if that's your goal, express your feelings. Don't wait five years just being a friend, thinking that you're going, you know, to get the spot that you want to get. Because someone's going to come in, they're going, you know, to tell you what they want. They're going to be assertive about it. And... I feel like eight times out of 10, that's who the female is gonna go with. So I really, I really think that it depends on who you are as a person, what you prefer in your courting experience. It could go either way. It could be the five-year guy that, you know, takes the time to get to know you as a friend, meet your parents, you know, go through a lot of things with you, listen to you. Or it could be the five-month guy that comes in and, you know, does a lot in your courting experience, take take you on dates, you know, let you know that they're serious and be in a relationship, it could go either way. Thank you guys for watching Eight at the Table. Hopefully you guys learned some. Alright, man. To be honest, don't ever get friend zone. And if you are friend zone and you don't want to be friends with them, just just you know, hit it. Just go that way, okay? But y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Prince Riley, and I'm out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace.